So I've broken down the 1v1s into three different zones, okay? So if a forward receives a 1v1, gets the ball behind the back line, and it's outside the 18, we're going to hold off a little bit. So zone three is kind of outside the 18. The forward receives the ball. You don't want to be about penalty spot right there because the good players are just going to go right over your head. It's going to be an easy shot. Zone two is where it's at because zone two is between 18 and about penalty spot. And that's where a majority of 1v1s happen. So zone two is if you can't get to the ball first, you got to get outside your six, I call it, about seven yards out and see what they do. And this, again, hear me out. This is when they, you cannot get to the ball first. So zone two is 18 to about penalty spot, and you got to see what they do. You get They're going to shoot. you got to be set for the shot, and you got to also be set for another touch or a dribble. Zone one is about penalty spot onwards. Zone one is we got to be brave. we got to be bold. Even if you're not getting there first, you got to kind of get out there and be big and do the K save or do the, you know, diving at the, at the feet. There's way more into it than that. That creates a little bit for the, especially the younger keepers, they can immediately relate to, okay, zone three, boom, I got to just hold maybe just inside my six yard box. It's way outside the 18. I don't want to come out yet. Cause you see keepers come out, ball gets played over the top. The keeper's already on the 18. Now all the player has to do is dribble towards the keeper. They got 15, 18 yards behind the keeper. They can just play a big pass to themselves and then go tap it in. Once they start getting around the 18, then we can start getting to about six, seven yards and see what they do.